Hi everybody, welcome to our second YouTube video. We're going to be focusing on the core area, which is the stomach and the back, along with the lower body, all the way down through the legs. This is also going to be a little bit more intense than the first video in terms of your cardio. So we're going to try and get everybody moving a little bit more, but please just go to your limits and try to push yourself as much as you can. Make sure you've got your water bottle ready, stay hydrated and work hard. Thank you to all of our members who shared this video. We've had lots of feedback from our school clubs along with our evening clubs and it's great to see that you're joining in and doing it with your parents and also getting your friends and other family members to do it as well. It really helps us if you subscribe to this channel, if you like the video, share it with all of your friends and maybe even leave a comment too. Okay, find some space and here we go, enjoy. Okay everybody, just find a little bit of space, put your legs out to double your hip width, just nice and relaxed and we're gonna bring the hands into the sides of the body like this, try to keep the elbows tucked in, nice and relaxed. And what you're gonna do is drop down into what we call a horse riding position, and then you're gonna push out. So we breathe in first as we pull the arms in. And then we're gonna, as we drop, we're gonna breathe out and push the arms out like this. Okay, then you breathe in as you come up. And you're gonna do that 10 times, okay? So I'm gonna go nice and fast, so I'll start again. So from here, I breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and out. And you're gonna do that, keep your back straight and do it 10 times, off you go. And relax, shake those legs out. Okay, twist those hips again, just like in the first video, we need to loosen up our hips, loosen up the body. Okay, we're gonna do a little routine. Any of these exercises that you find difficult, you can either change or adapt the exercise based on injuries or muscle problems. But kids, try and do as much as you can, and parents, Take it easy, but do your best. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with 10 press-ups. Keep your arms tucked in, hands below your shoulders, off you go. Stand up when you're ready. Okay, next one, we're gonna do 10 tuck jumps. Bring your knees in high. Please don't smash your head on the ceiling. Off you go. And good. Okay, back down into a press up position. We're gonna do mountain climbers or sprint starts. So you bring one leg in, bend your knee, and this is one, so you're gonna do 10, off you go. Straight away, move yourself into a sit-up position. Kids, you might need your parents to hold your legs for this, and then the parents can have a go when you're finished, all right? 10 sit-ups, keep your hands behind your head, or in this position, and don't swing with your arms, okay? Off you go. Stand up when you're ready. Make sure you've got plenty of space. Okay, 10 star jumps. Hands must touch at the top. Legs go out, off we go. And good. Next one, burpees. Everybody's favorite. So we go down with the hands like this. Out with the legs straight. Legs back in, and then jump. 10 times, off you go, I need to find more space. Good. 
Good. Last one. 10 squats. Bring your legs back into a horse riding position. Hands here or here. Nice and relaxed. Bend your knees. Keep your back straight. 10 times. Off you go. And relax quickly grab a drink okay for this next bit guys we're gonna need a friend so I've got Sensei Sonic here as you can see my little mate our after-school club and our younger kids in the evenings I've all met Sensei Sonic he was a gift to me from one of my students for my birthday so I'm gonna use him for my practice so grab a teddy grab a toy something that you can hold on to or some of the older members some of the parents some of the adults grab a water bottle something a little bit heavier that you can hold on to for good discipline with the arms and the shoulders, okay? All right, here we go. I'm just gonna hold my friend in front like this. Relax, shoulders, not, not too stiff like this. Relax here, and we're gonna go back down into a squat. We're doing lots with the legs today. So, keep your back straight, bend the legs, and then come up, keep him here, keep her here. Up you come, kick, back down. When you kick, for the non-martial arts people, the people who don't do karate, you're gonna bring your knee up high and then snap with your leg and bring it back and keep that knee high until you go back down. So you're gonna bring the knee up high like this. The standing leg has to be solid, so you need to bend it a little bit to give yourself some balance. And when you kick here, knee up high, tuck this foot in, and from there, snap. And then when you go back down, you're very solid, okay? When you do extend the leg out to kick, don't fully extend your knee out because you don't want to lose your balance. And it's also better for a stronger technique that you keep your knee a little bit bent, all right? So we're gonna do that 10 times. So nice and relaxed, find your space. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Let's put him down and let him have a rest. He's done a lot of work. All right, guys, we're just going to have a little bit of a stretch. We've done quite a lot. If any of you are really fit, then you might want to do this again. You can repeat this video, go back, do it again. Do 20, do 30 of each exercise. Because some people are varying levels of fitness and that might not be enough for you what we just did. But for others, it might be good. So whatever's good for you, push, push, push. Get yourself sweating. As you can see, I'm already pretty hot again, just like in the first video. So now we're gonna crack on. We're gonna do a nice squat-based stretch this time. So find a space. Some people will be able to go different heights with this. Just go as far as you can and be careful. If you've got a partner to work with, maybe they can hold your hands when you go down to keep you safe, okay? So this time I'm gonna do a na more narrow squat. I'm gonna keep my feet just slightly out, not too much. And then I'm gonna bend my knees. And I'm just gonna keep my arms out in front. All right, nice and relaxed. This is where you can hold on if you need to. So down, 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 down. Keep the heels on the floor and get that bum right the way down near the floor. This is very, very good to just reset our internal system. Keep our bodies nice and relaxed and warm. It's also very good for the ankles, the Achilles and leading up the legs. Try and keep the back as straight as possible. Yes, I do need to lean forward a bit. Don't go like this and hunch. Try to keep your back straight. Hold that there for about 30 seconds to a minute at least, and then come up, okay? Nice and relaxed, breathe, and come up. Good. Grab another drink if you need to. At any point, you can pause this video, grab a drink. Okay, a little bit more stretching. So, just put one leg slightly forward, just in front of the other foot. So you're about one 
pixie step we call it, in front, turn the back foot out just a little bit, and from there, relax the back knee, bend it a little bit, go down the front leg with your hands, pull the front toes up, and just grab the toes, if possible, with both hands. If you can't, just bend this front knee a little bit too, that's okay. Do whatever you need to do to slowly increase your strength and your flexibility. Keep breathing. And change legs, so just swap sides. One foot just in front of the other. Bend the back knee, bend the front knee a little bit if you need to. Go down the front leg, toes up, grab the toes. Relax the head, relax the shoulders and keep breathing. And relax. The longer you hold each stretch, 30 seconds or more, the more beneficial it will be. I'm doing a little bit less in these videos just so we can crack on and keep going. But again, you can always pause if you need to, come back to different points, um, and also you can contact me if you have any questions about any of the moves that we're doing, you're not sure of something, and I can try to help you and answer the question. Okay, next stretch from here, we need to have some balance and some focus for this. So, both feet straight, facing the front, just relax your knees. We're gonna bring, the, we're gonna bring any leg up, so the standing leg has to be bent again, just like before, and your posture must be straight. Nice, relaxed shoulders, bring the left leg up, above your belt or your stomach height, pull it in with both hands and set your position. Try and pull it in as much as possible. Keep focusing, keep breathing. Right, if you can, hold your balance. Let go with one ha this hand here. Keep, keep a hold with the same hand. Pull it out to the side and turn it this way. Then take it around the back with the same hand and then grab it with the other hand again behind. Pin your shoulders and bend the knee. Okay to be a little bit wobbly. You can see I'm moving a little bit whilst trying to focus. And if you need to put the foot down at any point, that's okay. Just just bring it back up and start again and, and, and if you go. And relax, shake your legs. Okay, other leg. So we root the other leg down, straight, bend the knee, take the weight into this leg, bring the other leg up again, grab the leg, focus forwards and set your position. Take it round to the side, the same as before, with that one hand. Turn it sideways to get into your hips. Get a cramp doing this, just lower it a little bit, that's okay. Everybody's height and levels will be different. Take it round the back, keep this rooted, this leg. Grab it with the other hand. Pull those shoulders back nice and straight. Good posture with your neck and your head and your shoulders. And relax, shake your legs. Okay, got to do a little bit with the upper body too. So just circle the arms forward. And back. Okay, put your left arm over your shoulder like this with your hand. And then from there with your right hand, grab the elbow and push back. Breathe in and then breathe out when you push back. Try to keep your head straight, don't crank your neck down like this. And relax, other side, right arm over, bend at the elbow, grab with the left arm, breathe in, and breathe out as you push. Don't crank that neck, keep a good posture with your knees as well, good strength.
and relax, shake off, loosen up your head, your neck, your shoulders, your hips, your knees and your feet, loosen up the whole body. Okay, just to finish off, we're going to go back to the first exercise that we did, but we're going to do it nice and slowly with some breathing, just to cool down. So bring those feet back out. You remember, we have to start with the arms here, we're going to pull in and breathe, and we're going to drop down and push out, okay? So copy me, ready? Breathe in. Shoulders down. As you breathe out, slowly bend your knees. Breathe in. This time, push up to the sky when you breathe out. Go, look up. Breathe in. This time, push out to the sides as you breathe out. Breathe in. And the last one, push down behind your legs and breathe out. And repeat one more time. In. Push forwards. In. Up. In. Out. In. Last one behind your legs. And relax, shake off. Thanks very much guys, hope you worked hard and enjoyed that. Much more difficult than the first video. But like I said, different varying fitness levels for everybody. So if you want to, go back, watch the video again, do the exercises 10, 20, 30 times, whatever's good for you, and push yourself as hard as you can. With all of this stuff, you must make sure that your shoulders are nice and relaxed and your body is sunk down into a strong structure. This is part of the karate that we study. Uh, so just try your best and that will help your balance. And also if you remain focused, that will help with everything as well. Just a reminder, share this video again, subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff, just to get the word out and help us as much as possible to help everybody else whilst we're stuck at home. See you on the next one. Thanks very much.